हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एप्ट्रिक्सी क्लासेस इन डेटा इंटरप्रिटेशन वीडियो लेसन टू एंड आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अनदर टैबुलर डेटा हियर दोज हु हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब द चैनल डू सब्सक्राइब इट इमीडिएटली सो दैट यू गेट अपडेट्स ऑफ ऑल न्यू वीडियो अपलोड्स ऑल्सो यू कैन फॉलो मी ऑन फेसबुक एंड इंस्टाग्राम यूजिंग यूजर नेम रैमो एप्ट्रिक्स एंड डू नॉट फॉर गेट टू ज्वाइन आवर टेलीग्राम चैनल हेलो एप्ट्रिक्स फॉर अपडेट ऑफ न्यू अपलोड्स job notifications and much more let's start the data set now answer the following questions based on the below table this table represents percentage of marks obtained by different students in different subjects so these are the students ankita bakul chaitanya dipali gauri himani and the subjects are hindi english math science physics chemistry biology and sanskrit one thing you have to understand that the the values that are written here they are in percentage take any one data to understand the entire table for example let's take this 74 this 74 is nothing but marks scored by chaitanya in science subject is 74% because all the values written in this table is in percentage and this percentage will have base of science marks because the column is the science so science is the base 74% of 125 is actual marks scored by chaitanya this is how you can easily understand this data set that means percentage mark obtained in each subject by different student has been given in the table now let's move to the questions question number 1 says how many students have scored highest marks in more than one subject that means we have to find number of students who have scored highest mark in more than one subject so let's see every subject and see who has scored uh, highest like here in this column clearly 93% now here we have to just look for the magnitude of the percentage because every percentage in one column is having the same base therefore higher the percentage means higher the actual marks also so we have to look for highest percentage value in each column so here chaitanya is highest here clearly bakul is highest so just i'm writing here here again bakul is highest here this is highest here again i'm going and uh, you can clearly see the highest value is this 84 here in this column highest value is 80 here in this column highest value is 90 here again in this column highest value clearly is going to be 82 so you can clearly see now that those who are getting more than one highest is gauri chaitanya and bakul so you can easily mark 3 to be the right answer here now moving further to the next question now and this question says marks obtained by ankita in sanskrit are what percent of marks obtained by gauri in the same subject we are talking about the same subject means this base is same so we actually we have to find here that 70 which is marks scored by ankita in sanskrit is what percentage of 64 so we have to find 70 is what percentage of 64 but you must be thinking what about this base we need not to think about this base because when base of this percentage and this percentage both are same ultimately they will be cancelled out this percentage symbol also you can remove so it is just about finding 70 is what percentage of 64 clearly it is more than 100% but there are three options more than 100% let's see which is the right answer so you can clearly see 70 as 64 plus 6 divided by 64 64 by 64 will give you 1 1 in terms of number translate to 100% then we'll have plus 6 by 64 now 6 by 64 clearly is going to be less than 10% because 10% will be 6.4 and this is 6 not 6.4 you can clearly see then then if i take 6.4 and i subtract 1% you are going to get a value which will be 5 point something why because 1% will be 0.64 subtract 6.4 minus 0.64 5 point something that means 6 clearly is between between this and this that means your percentage value will be between 109 and 1010% therefore it is going to be d option okay so you need not to have percentage symbol here because it is saying percent rounded up to two decimals so we are clearly getting that my answer will be between 109 and 1010 okay because it is in that 1% range right so that's why it is going to be somewhere like some somewhat like 109 point something and i can easily mark d to be the right answer then question number 3 now it says who has scored the highest marks in all the subject together now you must be thinking this is a calculative question right but do you know what 
answer can be directly marked to be none of these right and i'll tell you why and how actually we have done this in question number 1 itself when we were counting how many students have scored highest mark in more than one subject what we noticed was really interesting that the bakul is the one who is scoring highest mark in four subjects he is scoring highest mark so out of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 subjects in four subjects bakul is scoring highest marks now let us look at other marks as well look at this 75 75 just second to you know 93 i can say it is second highest h2 look at 87 is very closer to 88 almost highest let me say it is second highest look at this 74 74 is also less than 80 second highest what does it mean this 77 is also second highest that means bakul actually is scoring highest marks in four subject and second highest in four subjects there is no other person who can match bakul right you need not to calculate it you can directly mark the answer to be none of these so if you do not want to waste time in the exam right this is how you have to solve that we know he is highest in four and he is second highest in four by visual observation only right i can mark my answer to be none of these i am not going to calculate and then find out who is highest right hope you will develop this skill and you can easily solve the question then moving to question number 4 which says what are the average marks obtained by all the students together in physics that means we have to go to the column of physics and we have to find average marks understand this average marks not percentage they are asking about average marks means you have to just calculate marks of each and then find the average but do not do this why because if you calculate marks of each that is unnecessary you are wasting your time because i know that all percentage are having same base in a column and we have to deal with this column only we have to find average of this column so why not to first calculate average of percentage and we know that the the base of every percentage is same so we will later convert that percentage into actual marks this is the first thing you need to understand now i'm just going to treat these as simple number and i'll find what is the percentage average because the base is same when base is same percentages can be added and subtracted like simple numbers look at this 70 and 84 is 154 then 79 233 then 71 304 382 and 74 152 in terms of percentage this is total percentage value on the base 75 then i have to divide it by 6 right to get the average percentage what is the base the base is 75 now one more thing i am telling you right now if you have a number and this is how you are writing the percentage x percent of y this is always equal to y percent of x also so i am not so comfortable in looking at this number is 452 by 6 percentage so i will be clearly writing this as 75 percent of 452 by 6 now you can clearly see 75 percent in terms of fraction is 3 by 4 and now there is nothing left in the question it will be 3 and this will be 2 then you say it is 452 divided by 8 you just go 5 times 6 times 0.2 that's what is the average marks scored by all the students together in the subject physics and that's how you are not going to take any time in marking the right answer in this case moving to the next question question number 5 question of 5 says how many marks did himani get in all the subjects together okay so now actually the problem is that himani is scoring 58% mark in hindi 60% mark in english means different different subjects different different percentages we need to calculate individual marks and then we need to find the answer again i am going to save lot of your time with the basic understanding that how actually you should calculate so let us work on it and i'm going to make your calculation really simpler you clearly see here three values or bases although they are different subjects but they are having same base 150 150 150 150 when bases are equal percentage can be added like simple number now clearly see 58 and 60 is 118 and 64 182% .80%. so 182 percentage of 150 i'm getting I won't take any time in calling this particular number is 150 percentage of 182 x percent of y is equal to y percent of x. Now 100 percent of 182. I'm writing 150 is 100 percent plus 50 percent. 100 percent of 182 will be 182, and then half of it will be equal to 91. You can sum it. You are going to get 273. So that means three numbers you can add up and you get 273 in one go. Rather than calculating it individually, right? It is better you combine the percentage and then calculate. Now 125 you have to calculate 54% of 125 how i can calculate even this i will write this as 125% of 54 again understand this is a easier way of calculating it so one one 
25% of 54 will become 100% of 54 that is 54 plus 25% of 54 that is 1 fourth. So if you want to find 1 fourth it is going to be 13.5. 13 times 4 is 52, 4 into 0.5 is 2, right? So clearly you can say this is going to be 67.5. Now all other, these three subjects are having equal, that is 75 is the base. So again, I can add up like simple numbers. So 130 plus 72 is going to be 202 percentage of 75. I think it shouldn't take any time because 200 percent of any number is double the number. So 200 percent means it will become 150 plus you have to find 2%. So if this is 200%, 2% will be divided by 100. Means 1.5. So this number becomes, you know, 151.5. Then I'm having the last number 66% of 50 is 50% of 66, right? Half of the number that is becoming equal to 33. Now what you can see clearly, we have to sum the numbers. So 67.5 and 33 will give me 100.5 and 100.5 plus 151.5 will give me 252 and 252 will be summed with 273 right and I'm going to get 525 and that's how I can do all the questions really easy so calculation is something right which you need to develop the right way of calculating things right these smaller things can make great difference in calculating data interpretation actually you always miss methods are not so good to while well, while doing the question that's why we say it is calculative it is that this and that we can do a lot of things it's not more about actual calculation most of the time like here we needed to calculate exactly because none of these was there but if none of these is not there even there is more freedom to approximate and do a lot of things right hope you all enjoyed the lesson do share with more and more students right that will definitely motivate me to do more and more lessons for you i'll make di damn easier for you if you have not subscribed the channel till now do subscribe it and yes don't forget to share it to whatsapp on your facebook uh, profile and everywhere else thank you everyone bye bye see you in the next session